guys. Look at how bad. Hey mamas, welcome to the Mama Lounge. In today's video, I will be showing you how to clean your Keurig coffee maker. I'm going to be using some white vinegar and then also just for cleaning purposes, I have Q-tips, a microfiber cloth, and then some toothbrushes. Today, I do need to clean out my filter and change the carbon um, little pod there, so I'm going to be doing that and wiping everything down with my favorite all-purpose cleaner, the Thieves Household Cleaner by Young Living. Absolutely love this, you guys. So let's get into this video. If you don't happen to have a Keurig and you have a traditional coffee maker, my friend Tiffany over at the Large Family Love channel will be doing a how-to video for you and it's in collaboration with this video. So head over to her channel, check her video out if you wanna see how to do a regular coffee maker. But we are super excited to get this video out for you guys. So let's jump right in and get started. All right, here's 10 easy steps on how to clean your Keurig. The first is to change and prep your water filter. It says to soak for five minutes and rinse for 60. While that's going, I'm going to remove my K-cup container just so that I can get in and get all the coffee grounds and stuff that has been built up over the months here. I'm using a toothbrush to brush all of that away. It worked really well. I'm going in with some Q-tips here and some all-purpose cleaner and just wiping out all of the extra stuff that has gotten stuck in there and there really was some dirt going on, so that was cool. I'm going to spray and wipe down everything that I can see and touch, and it was pretty dirty, you guys, so I'm gonna be doing that. And then also, the lid of your Keurig will show you what is safe to do in the dishwasher. So these products are dishwasher safe, most of them. I choose to hand wash, so take everything out that's removable and put that in your sink so that you can clean that. And then I'm just gonna continue here and just clean off every little surface and really get down and dirty with this Keurig. After everything is removed from the Keurig, I'm just gonna wash down everything using some Mrs. Meyers dish soap. I'm using Iowa Pine, but honestly, any of their scents are amazing right now. So yeah, just gonna go through and really clean out. I mean, look how good it looks now. So cool. All right, after that's done, I'm just gonna kind of put everything back together and get it ready to um, plug in and turn on and run the vinegar through. So just gonna be putting some pieces together and get this plugged in. All right, take your vinegar and just fill it up about halfway into your basin reservoir. And this will be more than enough to clean out the inside. So I'm going to be doing that. Make sure to remove the filter if you have one because it does not need to run through the filter. All right, just go ahead and run your Keurig over and over and over until all of the vinegar has passed through and the little symbol says to refill water. All right, after you ran the vinegar, you're going to run water through your Keurig. I had to do this twice until I didn't smell any more vinegar, but it just depends on the size of your Keurig. The last thing you're going to be doing is just adding in your filter, filling up the water again, and you are ready to brew, you guys. My Keurig has never looked better. I am so, so excited and so glad I did this. Like I said before, if you have a traditional coffee maker, make sure you head over to Tiffany's channel at Large Family Love. She would love to have you over there. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you back at any time. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.